Today's Essential is going to be a topic that has been mentioned in the comments section of one of my videos before and I wanted to do a video on it because I think I do it different than a lot of people that I've seen on YouTube. Now obviously I'm using Studio One version 3 and the reason why I do it a little bit different is because I use the browser. Now the browser obviously is for your samples, loops, effects and all the rest of it. The way that I do it different is that I use the slider. So as you can see down the bottom here, I've got the slider and that represents the volume. So the volume of the samples being played from the browser. Now a quick tip, if your volume is turned down, let's just say it's here, I can hold command and just click it and it returns the volume to 0 dB. Now what I mean by this is that if I was to bring this loop in and pull up the mixer, as you can see I'm already clipping on my master. I haven't even done anything. So all I've done is made the volume in the browser 0 dB. I've brought in my loop and the fader represents 0 dB. So I'm already making it difficult for myself. I haven't even begun to structure a beat or anything like that. So I'm already having to pull down my level and do this and do that. It, it's, it's a waste of time doing it that way. So the way I do it I'll put that to 0 dB. Now what I'll do is I'll pull in the same loop, but I'm just going to turn down the browser to about halfway, about here. Now when I bring this in, you can see the actual fader is minus 13. Let's just say minus 14. So let's just say halfway, yeah? Now when I do it this way, that means that when I play back my loops while this loop at the bottom is playing, I'm already gain staging already. I, I won't see any clipping. I can always boost if I need to, but I won't have to pull back and dial down once I start getting going. So for example, while I'm here, I'll make a little beat, right? So I'll make a little loop and I'm gonna use obviously my method. You see, I just use the uh, volume. So what I'll do is I'll just throw down a little uh, loop with some of these loops, one shots, and you'll see how quick and easy it is and you won't get any clipping, okay? So let's get into this.
Okay, so you get the idea. I'm not going to go on too long. But yeah, so basically what I've done is I've already gain staged without really doing gain staging. My level right now is, what is it, about minus three? Okay, wow. So I'm about minus six already. So for example, if that was a little bit too low, I just select, I hold shift and select the rest. And then I could just hold shift again and move it up and it moves up by um, 0.1 uh, of an increment. So if I bring it up to about here, I'm about 0.3 dB. So that's, that's too much. I can bring it down again. So yeah, basically that's it. So that is the gain staging way that I do it. It's uh, it's not rocket science, it's fairly easy. All you gotta do is put your volume about halfway and then start making tracks because if you just bring it in and hold command and click on it, it, re it results back to zero dB, which means you're gonna have to dial down. So it's basically your mixing again, whereas if you use this technique, you can actually mirror kind of the sound or the level that you want within the browser while the track is playing. So if I was to get uh, a loop here, let's see if there's a loop. For example, that's the loop. And when I play the track, I'm just gonna try and mirror it using the volume at the bottom right of the browser. When it sounds right, then I bring it in and then I can do any additional edits. So let's do that for the last thing. <laughs> 